Hi everyone and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. We use ratios all throughout our lives, whether it's in the kitchen, in the garden, in our garage, at work. Uh, ratios are present in just about everything that we do. Today we're going to take a look at how to find the value of a ratio and how that can help us. So today's learning target is pretty simple. I can use the value of a ratio to solve real-world problems. So remember that a ratio is a comparison of two quantities. To find the value of a ratio, we just need to divide one quantity in the ratio by the other quantity. For example, the value of the ratio x to y is equal to x over y, or x divided by y. Example number one. We need to find the value of the ratio of broth to noodles and interpret its meaning. So we have four cups of broth to one third cup of noodles. So the first thing we need to do is rewrite it as a fraction, and then we can divide. So we write four over one third, or four divided by one third. Four divided by one third equals 12. So this means that the recipe requires 12 times as much broth as noodles. For this example, we need to find the value of the ratio of runner A's distance to runner B's distance and interpret the meaning. So we have 3.5 miles to 10.5 miles. So again, rewrite as a fraction and then divide. So we have 3.5 divided by 10.5, which equals 0 0.3 repeating, which is equivalent to one third. This means that runner A only runs one third as far as runner B. So let's check out this application problem. Mr. Long's weed trimmer requires 0.32 fluid ounces of oil and 16 fluid ounces of gasoline to run properly. He uses two gallons, or 256 fluid ounces of gasoline, to make a batch of the oil gas mix. How much oil should Mr. Long add to the gasoline so that he can use it in his weed trimmer? All right, so let's take a look at my original mix which was 0.32 fluid ounces of oil for every 16 fluid ounces of gasoline. So we need to find the value of the ratio. So we divide 0.32 by 16, and we get one ounce of oil for every 50 ounces of gas, or 0.02 ounces of oil for every one ounce of gas. Now we can use that value to calculate the amount of oil that I'll need to put into my mixture. So I don't know the amount of oil I need, but I do know that I have 256 fluid ounces of gasoline. So if I multiply 256 fluid ounces of gas times 0 0.02 ounces of oil for every one ounce of gas, I get 5.12 ounces of oil. This means that I should add 5.12 fluid ounces of oil to the gas can so that I can use the mix in my weed trimmer. All right, so for those of you familiar with my other videos, we're gonna switch it up a little bit here. From now on, the independent practice problems will be right at the end of each video. So let's look at independent practice number one. Find the value of the ratio of oregano to thyme and interpret its meaning. So the ratio is 1 fourth teaspoon of oregano to 1 half teaspoon of thyme. Pause the video now, work on this problem on your own, and then unpause it when you're ready. All right, let's try it out. So the first thing that we need to do is rewrite this as a division problem. So we have one-fourth over one-half. One-fourth divided by one-half equals one-half. So what this means is that the recipe requires half as much oregano as thyme. And we'll wrap it up with an application problem. Mrs. Long spends two and one-third hours doing yoga for every one and three-quarters hours that Mr. Long spends running. How long did Mrs. Long do yoga if Mr. Long spent three and a half hours running this week. Again, pause the video, work this out on your own, and then unpause it to see how you did. All right, let's see how you did with this one. So remember, we have to divide the ratio of hours of yoga by hours of running. So we have two and one third hours of yoga divided by one and three quarters hours of running. Um, these mixed numbers change into the improper fractions seven over three, and seven over four. And what that simplifies down to is four hours of yoga for every three hours of running. So this means that Mrs. Long spends four hours on yoga for every three hours that I spend running. All right, so now we need to know how much time she spent on yoga this week. So if I spent three and a half hours running and we multiply by that by the value of the ratio, 
four hours of yoga for every three hours of running, we find four and two thirds hours of yoga. So this means that Mrs. Long spent four and two thirds hours, or four hours and 40 minutes, doing yoga this week. So let's review what we talked about today. You learned how to use the value of a ratio to solve real world problems. Remember that the value of a ratio can be found by dividing one quantity in the ratio by the other quantity. The value of the ratio describes the relationship between the two quantities. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math. You can subscribe by clicking the button below and you'll get access to more videos as soon as they're posted. You can also head over to conqueringmath.com to find guided notes for this video and to check out all the materials that I have available. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.